In this video, we have a selection of some great gear which has recently surfaced at Gadget HQ that I thought you might like to see. This is the Nightcore P35i, and this is another example of a laser excited phosphor flashlight although this one has a trick up its sleeve. Now, if you're new to LEP technology, this is different to LED, which you'll be familiar with in that inside here. We have a blue laser, which fires a beam onto a phosphor element, which then emits a very bright white light via a lens array, creating a very narrow beam of high intensity light for extreme range with no light spread. This LEP flashlight has five levels of power output, the maximum being just 410 lumens, which on the face of it sounds very low, but LEP works differently and this light will produce a narrow beam with a range of one mile. And it can maintain that light level for over two hours. And that is because it doesn't run as hot or consume as much power for the same light intensity as an LED light source would. But as I mentioned, the Nightcore has a trick up its sleeve in that it has a floodlight feature which utilizes six Cree XP G3 LEDs. As you can see, there is no reflector surface on these floodlight LEDs. So the range is actually quite limited at 200 meters and that's at 3000 lumens, which is the maximum power output for the floodlight LEDs. So this is very bright and has a very broad beam. Like a lot of high power LED lights, the 3000 lumen turbo floodlight shuts off once the light starts to heat up. And in this case, that is at around 30 seconds. Like the spotlight, the floodlight also has five light levels to choose from, and you can combine both the LEP beam and the LED floodlight. Here are the detailed runtimes and light levels for the different modes. And you might want to pause the video here if you want to explore this in detail. Another great feature of this light is this OLED screen here, and this shows the output level, brightness level, user mode, beam distance, and remaining runtime, and that to me is super useful. The battery used here is a bespoke 21700 5000 milliamp hour battery, and in the box there is a CR123 battery magazine for battery backup, although it won't achieve the full 3000 lumen turbo level with one, two, three batteries. Also included is this remote switch for use if the light is weapon mounted and you also get a useful holster. This flashlight has a spot mode, a flood mode and a mixed mode. Now in spot mode, you can cycle through the five different brightness levels using the mode switch here. Now, if you press and hold the mode switch, it brings on both the spotlight and floodlight at full brightness. Then you have flood mode. Now again, you can cycle through the five different floodlight levels by pressing the mode switch. And again, if you press and hold the mode switch, it brings on both the floodlight and the spotlight at full power. Then there's also a mixed light mode where you can actually choose the output from each of the different light sources. So the P35i is a very nice option, avoiding the need to carry two flashlights when LEP is needed, but that level of convenience does bring with it some compromises compared with two individual lights. LEPs are not cheap and this light will set you back £333 or $300 plus tax. Next up, we have some minimalist wallets from a company called Axwell out of the US. And these have a very similar form factor to the very well-known Ridge wallets, but at slightly lower prices and with some unique features. This can hold a maximum of 12 cards and it can do that with ease. I've got eight here. They literally just slide in like that, but you can see there's plenty room for more. Then you have this large indent here and that allows you to push out the cards and then you can fan them out so you can select the one you want. It's made from CNC machined aluminium so it'll naturally block any potential RFID theft if that was a worry. And it comes with a cash strap already installed with this metal 
Axwell logo plate on there and some bobbly rubber under there to hold the cash in place. It also comes supplied with a money clip so you can decide whether to use the cash strap or the money clip or in fact you can use both. But perhaps the most innovative feature here is something Axwell call their mag lock cover plates. On both sides of the wallet, these aluminium plates are held in place with neodymium high strength magnets. And that for a start means you can customize your wallet by very quickly changing the cover plate. So I've got a couple of other color options here like this copper one or this black one, and I can easily remove that plate and remove that one and all of a sudden now we've got some different colored options so really easy to customize and it also makes it really easy if you want to say swap out the cash strap you can take that off and now you've got a money clip. So it's very easy to customize, modify and maintain your Axwell wallet without needing any tools and without the danger of lots of tiny screws to lose. It also crossed my mind that you could conceal in here something very small and flat, and that could just be, say, a note with emergency numbers on, for example, but there is a little bit of space under here for something like that. My only concern with this mag lock approach is that with cash strapped or clipped here, it does make it easier to pull this away and that could get lost. So that is something to be wary of. There are a few accessories available like this coin tray. This is for flat keys and coins and other small EDC items. Although you do need to mind the gap here which could allow small items to fall out. So it's always best to have a card in front like that. There are 12 color options to choose from, which I can see on the website, including this copper version, although this is actually really heavy at 5.5 ounces or 156 grams. Compare that with the standard aluminium wallet, which is only 2.86 ounces or 82 grams. And I actually prefer the aluminium. I've also got a black one here, and this looks really smart, probably my favorite color in all black. So first impressions very good. The quality here is very evident and the design works well and looks good. Definitely want to consider if you're in the market for this type of wallet. And as for the price, well, it starts at around $80. This is a compact dry bag from a company called Side by Side. Now, I do like a dry bag and this is the most compact and lightest I have come across. It has a very useful 10 litre capacity, which looks like this. So lots of room in there. In fact, this could even line a small pack. And the great thing is it folds up like this and weighs only 42 grams, which is about one and a half ounces. On most dry bags, the top here is made of a stiff material and that limits how small it can fold. Whereas this one here is flexible in comparison and this means you can keep it in your pack or bag folded up tight and tucked away for when you need it without compromising space or weight. Now the dry bag is perfect for storing wet or dirty gears so the rest of the contents of your pack don't get wet or dirty or for keeping contents dry from getting wet. So for example if you find yourself in heavy rain and discover your bag isn't waterproof or you find yourself on the water or in the water and need to protect your car keys, phone, wallet, clothes from getting wet then this will come to the rescue so great for general use but also perfect for lightweight travel or trekking and also for the beach and obviously for water sports available for twenty dollars from side by side and if you want to know more there are links to everything in this video in the description Below. Okay, here we have the Benchmade Proper 318. This is a high quality slip joint pocket folder. Now, many countries, including the UK, prohibit the carrying of locking knives in public without good reason. And slip joint knives like this are non-locking and therefore essential to those markets. And there's also a worldwide collector's market for slip joint knives, which are 
also referred to as gentlemen's pocket folders. So it's really good to see some highly respected knife makers catering for this market. The best known being probably Spyderco, but Benchmade, famous for their Axis lock knives like the Bug Out, also have a couple of options and this is one of them and a great example of a high-end slip joint folder. This is really nicely made as you might expect from Benchmade, a balanced mix of modern and classic styling thin and slim which makes for a very compact form factor it has these really nice canvas micarta scales which are more comfortable in the hand and i think nicer in the pocket because they are generally less grippy than something like g10 scales the stainless steel liners in here are skeletonized which keeps the weight as low as possible and that with this knife stands at just 60 grams or 2.15 ounces. It has a clip point blade which is in S30V blade steel which offers a great balance of corrosion resistance and edge retention and the blade here is also very easy to grip when opening either with the fingers or using this nail nick here. There's a half stop for safety and the back spring offers mid tension and there's a bit of jimping here on the spine of the blade to give you a little bit of added grip. There's no pocket clip on here to disrupt the classic styling, but there is a lanyard hole which adds a nice touch. And it's also really nice to see hex screws here, which means it can be easily maintained, which you don't always see on a slip joint knife. Not a new knife, but it is a really nice one. And this comes in at around 130 pounds, which is around $140 plus tax. Next up, we have a couple of new items from our friends at Orbit Key. And first we have this new keyring design to replace the traditional uninspiring nail breaking split ring that most people still use. And what we have here is something that is very quick and simple to use that doesn't break your nails. So it's a black ring and it has this kind of lump on the end and you just point that inwards and pull and then it frees up this space here. And you put your keys on. Then the black bit points inwards again, pull, and now they're locked in place. So it doesn't get much easier than that. This is the black option. It also comes in rose gold, silver, and yellow gold. And the price is 14 pounds or $17 plus tax. Also new from Orbit Key is the Chipolo Tracker version two. Now there is a version one that came before it. So let's have a look at the difference with the version two. And as you can see, the version two is quite a bit bigger than the original and that means a 60% improvement in battery life because the version 2 has a much bigger battery in there. And it also has this physical button to replace what was just a push area on the version 1 and that makes it much easier to use. And that button is for activating the phone finder function. It also doubles up as a selfie trigger so you can activate the shutter button on your mobile when you're using the camera. This version is also louder than the original, so it can be found more easily when close by. It also has improved Bluetooth tracking range. Now, the original used to fit nicely in the Orbit Key key carry solution. The new one doesn't fit so well at all because it's wider, because it flares out, and also because it is at least twice as thick to accommodate that bigger battery. So whereas the original was the perfect size to go in the Orbit Key key organizer, the new version is probably better attached to your keyring separately. And it comes with an elasticated cord, so you can do just that. This is called the Infinity Tool and it's from a company called Model, spell M-O-D-L. And this was successfully funded on Kickstarter and at the time of filming is just finding its way to the market so you can buy it. And it's effectively a carabiner plus tie wrap plus gear strap all in one. In short, good for securing something to something else. And this is very simple but very effective. There are two parts to this. You've got this stretchy part here. 
This is made from food grade silicon and this metal part here is made from stainless steel and it works like this. You wrap it around whatever you want to attach to something, slot the end through there like that. Then you can pull it really tight and then just stretch it onto that stud there and then you've got a really secure hold. Or you could choose to simply wrap it around something either once or twice and then simply secure it on like that and again you've got a really secure hold. It comes in these two lengths, this is 16 inches, this is 8 inches and they can be fastened together if you want to increase the overall length and you can even wear it so it's always close to hand. Available in these colours, use it for attaching stuff to say your backpack or paddleboard, boats, bikes or for holding things together such as skis or paddles or a rolled up sleeping bag and so on. It's tested to hold more than 70 pounds in weight but if you wrap it around more than once then it will hold much more and the silicon part won't scratch your gear. Really simple but really useful and the price here will be around about $35 for four pieces. This is the H30 headlamp from Ace Beam and I've had this on test for some time now and I like it so much it has become my go-to hardcore headlamp. The H30 is one of the brightest LED headlamps on the market driven by a single 21700 battery with a maximum light output of a whopping 4000 lumens. So perfect for any activity where you need a powerful light and you want to be hands free and you want that light to be pointing where you're looking. And that would be things like night hikes, exploration, outdoor search, night working, things like that. But as well as a powerful main light, which is a good mix of beam and flood, and there's a choice of either warm or cool light when you buy it, there are also two additional lights built in here, which really add to the functionality of this light. In this version here, we have a red light built in, and that's designed to preserve your night vision, and also a white light. Now this is a high CRI light. CRI stands for Color Rendition Index, and means that the colors you see illuminated by this light are represented accurately. The white light here is a good close range diffused light and I think very useful, but there are other options on different models. So for example, the white light can be replaced with a UV light for police and crime scene use, and that's to illuminate body fluids believe it or not. And then there's an option of a green light which some also use to preserve at night vision but is more visible to the human eye whilst being less visible to some animals. So for me this is a great combination, a beam for general long range use, a close up diffused colour corrected white light and a red light to preserve at night vision and keep a lower profile. Other features of the light include two button, easy to use and easy to remember operation and also the 21700 5000 milliamp hour battery for long battery life. It has USB-C for quick charging, which is great to see, and that USB-C is reversible, so it will also charge your devices, such as your phone. So if your phone's running low and you don't need the light, you can charge your phone from this. It's IP68 waterproof rated, which means it can be submerged up to two meters, and it's been drop tested to one meter and it's made from high grade aluminium with this hard anodized coating. It has five brightness levels which include this three lumen low light mode which can last for 200 hours on a single charge. And to step through the five light levels you turn it on with the orange button and then step through with the black button. And it has the crazy bright 4000 lumen mode and that will drop down after around 90 seconds to preserve the flashlight from overheating. Both of these modes are directly accessible without having to step through the other modes which is always good to see. And if you want to check out all the different modes and the light levels and duration then just pause this chart here. It also has a lockout mode to prevent accidental activation and the red light can signal SOS for 72 hours should that be required.
It weighs 193 grams or 6.77 ounces, including the headband and battery. So it's not what you would call lightweight, but it is very capable indeed. And you'd be hard pushed to find a brighter and more capable or better quality headlamp in this category. The price for this is around 120 pounds or a hundred and twenty dollars plus tax. If you'd like to see some more multi-product everyday carry videos then have a look at this playlist here. That's it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.